Welcome and welcome back my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. This is an episode that we've all been waiting for. The momentous occasion of Galadon achieving a fully maxed out Town Hall 15 because yes, as you may have known, I did not fully gem to max all of the walls in Builder Hall 10. Now, this means that I am eagerly awaiting Town Hall 16 and we will in today's episode answer the pressing burning question that is, when is Town Hall 16 coming to Clash of Clans? But before we answer questions like that, other questions like, have you subscribed to the channel yet and turned on notifications? Must be asked. Questions like, are you using a creator code? It doesn't have to be Galadon, but remember Supercell is generous enough to add this to the game. Please remember to use somebody's creator code whenever you make a purchase in Clash or in any Supercell game. Now, as you may have seen in a recent episode, Galadon used, okay, I'm gonna tell you it's not an exploit. It's absolutely not an exploit. It is just a feature. It is a feature of the game that allows you to conduct attacks, quit the game, come back, and receive insane amounts of elixir. And if you have a strong enough base, like you see that I have, what that allows also is for you to hover in trophies, tread water or so to speak, and not really lose a lot of trophies while gaining a ton of elixir and gold for a minimum amount of effort. So yes, I mean, I do see the problem behind this. It doesn't really encourage competition or taking the Builder Hall seriously, but I'll admit to you that I just don't find the Builder Hall content all that engaging. It's, it's fun but not nearly as fun as the home village. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And speaking of home village, that's right. We are back in the shop like we are every single time an offer arises, purchasing it all because yes, we are preparing for Town Hall 16. Let's think about this. It is still many, many months away and I have a really good idea of when it should arrive, which gives us plenty of time to get massive amounts of magic items stored in our town halls. So we buy more runes, we buy more books, we pick up more elixir from the builder hall, and oh yes, of course, we pick up all of the sceneries, all of the skins. I think for at least my main accounts, and yes, I do have 38 and counting Clash of Clans accounts. For the main accounts, we need to make sure that we have every item possible. Now this, of course, excludes the oldest obstacles the oldest seasonal decorations those of you that have been asking just know that i've been told unequivocally that clash will not be adding those to the game in the future so if you didn't start playing clash early enough to grab the 2012 christmas tree you'll never be able to get it that being said let me just put an asterisk here and tell you if for some reason you see that Clash puts the 2012 Christmas tree back in the game for a certain amount of money, know that that is a true sign that the game is jumping the shark. The game is in desperation mode. That is, that is just my input. That is my take on the idea of them adding something like that in order to try to generate more revenue for the game itself. Now, okay, I know I am here buying builder hall packages and the reason i'm doing this again is for future updates i'm not going to use any of this stuff well not the runes anyway to max out the current setup in the builder hall we're doing that by attacking and quitting attacking and quitting attacking and quitting and okay fine okay fine once in a while doing a real attack okay so what we'll do here is i'll play out a real attack i just to show you i haven't forgotten how to do dirty baby dragon spam which is by the way probably the easiest strategy to use right now at builder hall 10 and then simultaneously while i execute a flawless six star attack we will discuss town hall 16. now all we need to do is look back at the town hall 15 release date which was october 10th 2022 and know that the last three town halls have all come very close to 18 months apart. Now, simple math would put Town Hall 16 at April 10th, 2024, but that's too easy. Let's think about the fact that the Clash team is going to really focus on this update, that it's going to be huge, massive, a ton of new buildings, structures, possibly 
Wait, structures and buildings are the same thing. A, a ton of new buildings, troops, spells, siege machines, techniques, possibly a new resource. What? You heard me. You never know. So all of these things are going to, in my opinion, delay the update just a bit. And we will see Town Hall 16 release on May 6th, 2024. If this does not happen on this precise day, then you take a screenshot of this video, come to my live stream, tell me, Galadon, you were wrong, and if you're the first, I will give you a free gold pass, which by then will probably be worth like six or seven hundred dollars, right? Because that's still quite a ways in the future, and that's after the global financial collapse and the alien invasion, and yet we have to think of all these things because they are going to affect everything, but the good news is, I predict we will still be playing Clash of Clans uh, in 2024 and beyond. But in all seriousness, let's move on to the second half of this beautiful baby dragon attack. As you can see here, it worked out that we saved a couple of abilities. And by the way, the reason I chose to do this attack all the way through, because it would be the last attack I need to do before we max out Builder Hall 10. And to be completely honest, I don't have any other plans to conduct Builder Hall attacks unless they're necessary for clan games in the future, or there's another huge change. Oh man, God forbid Builder Hall 11. No, please, please, let's just focus on Town Hall 16, right? Town Hall 16, it's coming, it is just around the corner, depending upon what you see as the corner, and it is going to be exciting. Also, we can talk about how many buildings there are going to be, what the last building is going to be but you know what let's save that for another episode because as i theorize it's entirely possible that town hall 16 is the last town hall to be added to the game but again let's let's make a whole video dedicated to that concept in the meantime here we are having played this game for about 10 years i did miss the first few months of clash and we're finally going to be fully maxed out again the home village as you know hopefully you did not miss the gem to max episode if you did i'll link it right here up in the corner you can go check out gemming to max town hall 15 because that was fun the builder hall not quite as rewarding to max out especially the walls even though the recent change did get them back to individual pieces which was nice it's still an insane amount of effort to finish your walls and if you do it the way i did by attacking and quitting attacking and quitting expect to invest many many hours in getting enough resources to get those walls upgraded okay so here we are the final buildings of our final attack as a builder hall wall grinder getting the six star accomplished and oh man i am so glad that this grind is over we can go ahead and wrap it up and uh yes by the way i am taking defenses proportionally to my attacks unlike many other players that are getting more of one than the other so that elixir right there should give us enough let's hold on and see to get the last wait a minute there's not quite enough uh resources okay okay a builder star jar builder star jar i knew i had these saved up for a reason we just reset the bonus go out and attack quit a few more times and we'll be fine okay we'll get it done we'll go ahead and switch back to the pekkas so they do a much better job by the way if you are going to attack quit don't use baby dragons use the pekkas and sure enough you'll come back and you'll have full resources like we see right here here we go okay now we're good now we can finally get those final walls done and call this a fully maxed out account which by the way we honestly have not been fully maxed out for months now and although it's a technicality it does look good there they are the final two walls one with elixir here comes the last level 10 wall which does look like some sort of rusty plumbing but that there it is okay we're done fully maxed out builder hall 10 two builders free and that's it all right and and for what purpose did we get this maxed out i don't know it's always one of those things where when you're finally at the goal that you set for yourself what next Town Hall 16, that's what's next, and other updates in between. I am excited. I am still enjoying Clash, and I hope you are as well. You must be, because you made it all the way to the end of today's episode. Galafam, thank you for sticking around. Now get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full 
attacks. Galadon! Galadon! Congratulations! You're finally maxed out again! Now do yourself a favor, go touch grass. You're looking a bit pale. 